Robin, you said earlier that there's something fishy about the bondholder investments that were made. What do you mean by that? Well, what I meant by that is this. What we're being led to believe is that these bondholders, who are mainly uh, a group of over 40 banks and hedge funds, mostly from uh, Germany and Switzerland, what we're being led to believe is this. These investment bankers and financial analysts wanted to invest their money somewhere. So they picked the most overheated economy in Europe, in the largest property bubble Europe had seen since the Second World War. And they picked a cowboy bank with no assets in an unregulated banking market. And they seemed to think that this was a safe place to invest their money. There was an unlimited, nearly an unlimited amount of money being invested in Anglo-Irish, more than the GDP of Lithuania and Latvia. And yet, these, these were meant to be rational investment bankers who have got where they are by making good decisions. And yet, collectively, they behaved so rationally. I find something very bizarre about that. It's nearly like they knew they were making a one-way bet before they made it. And if that's the case, then the only people that could have told them were the European Central Bank. I don't know any of this, but uh, something seems very odd about it. And once we were held liable, that, of course, for this uh, bondholder debt, which no one ever was before, uh, they tried to pull the same thing in Iceland, but of course the Icelandic people didn't buy it. Uh, it left us in a position where the bond markets uh, wouldn't, wouldn't give us money at affordable rates. So it meant, in turn, that the EU and the IMF, uh, we became dependent on them with this uh, so-called bailout plan. And I say so-called because it's effectively an enslavement plan. Uh, there will be generations of our kids will be paying off this. Now, within the last few months, the European Central Bank has pumped tens and tens of billions, around 100 billion, into our central bank. Now, the reason that our central bank needed that money is, since this bailout and the terms of it were announced, there's been a flight of capital from Ireland. So the European uh, Central Bank has had to fill that vacuum. They're willing to put 100 billion into our central bank and say nothing about it. But they're insisting that this 40 billion, which they know we can't pay back at the rates they're offering, has to be paid back at the rates they're offering. Uh, I find it a bit bizarre. And uh, simultaneous, by the way, to uh, back when the money was being invested in Anglo-Irish, when you had these German and uh, Swiss banks and hedge funds just throwing credit at us, throwing it uh, as though it could, it could never fail, that it was a one-way bet, which, as we now know that, now that it was a one-way bet. Simultaneous to that, off our west coast, there was um, a lot of oil finds, and particularly in the Atlantic margin oil fields. Uh, that's where the New York Times said there was uh, at least 8 billion barrels of oil. In the Dunquin oil field uh, off Kerry, 4 billion barrels of high-grade oil has been found. That's $400 billion. And uh, that was drilled a couple of years ago, and it's due to start flowing in 2013 to 2015. Uh, it's deep-sea oil, so it takes a bit longer to get to. So, well, unfortunately, we no longer own our economy, so uh, it's the IMF and the EU that will decide what happens to this oil. So, through this bizarre bondholder behaviour, which ended up being guaranteed, which we didn't know at the time, nobody knew, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a precedent for, for a bondholder debt to be guaranteed by the citizens of the uh, state in which, it, uh, in which the, the gambling happens. Uh, it's led to us having no control over, our, over the potentially trillions in our natural resources. Uh, of course, if something more reasonable was worked out uh, regarding this bailout, that we were lent money in some other way, till we got in our feet, 
uh, this wouldn't be the case. But the IMF and the EU seem to be insistent on having control of our economy for the next few years while the oil is flowing.